everybody so I'm about to start on another project just a tiny little project um, like a finishing touch for my fall decor I'm not going to do too much I've already showed you everything that I have for fall which isn't much <laughs> but um, <clears throat> I wanted to use this I think when I first bought this from AC more I really wasn't even thinking fall I just thought it was a cute little wheelbarrow and it is from AC more and here's the ticket that was on it and it was the original price was a dollar, but when I bought it, I had 20% coupon off my entire purchase. So I threw a few pieces of like wooden pieces like this to alter in my cart. So I was thinking what else I needed for my small fall um, decor. And I remembered, hey, I picked this up. Why not just use it for fall? And then I have all these um, acorns left from Target. These are vase fillers, and there were 40 pieces in here, and it was $3. And I picked them up in this color that they had in cream, and then they had another one as well at the time. So I'm just going to, when I'm done with this, throw in a few in here. I don't know if I'm going to make them permanent, you know, glue them in or leave them loose so that I could use this, you know, for something else. But, of course, I'm going to make them more on the shabby chic side and try to match some of the colors, like the peaches that are in my... Um, floral arrangement and my scarecrow so and then it's just going to sit right in front of my small display so the colors that I'm going to use I'm going back to the Bavarian chalk paint from um, Folk Art Home Decor which I had picked up at Joann's and then this one here which is from Walmart this is um, Waverly chalk paint and I haven't used it yet it's a uh, ballet slipper so it's kind of a pink but not really it's kind of like a light version of what is it called now there's another color that kind of looks like this but this is just lighter um i can't think of it right now but anyway you see the, the shade of pink that that is so that's going to be my wheels and this is going to be the cream but i'm not sure about what color i should do this part unless i I don't know maybe I'll just do the whole thing cream for now and the wheels pink and then decide whether or not I'm going to change this or maybe just like do a metallic rub on there or something so then I pulled out my flowers and some leaves and I have this um, prima flowers whatever's left in here I'm going to try to use them all except for the blue one because the colors pretty much go minus the blue and then a couple of these because I use these in um, Actually, I didn't use them at all for my display. I used them in my little lunch bag pocket thing. And then I pulled out these leaves. So I want to mix the two of them together and have a little bit of the fall colors. But of course, I'm going to gesso that so it's not too bright. Um, <clears throat> this is just so I can pour my paint on there. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I just got a regular paintbrush here and um, I'll be back with this all painted. Okay, so I have finished my little shabby chic wheelbarrow and you're actually looking at the back side. This is actually the front because I kind of made the stuff kind of go down to the side. It is so cute and you could probably display it all year round. So I painted the wooden barrel that I got from AC Moore for a buck, actually less than a dollar. And I painted the whole thing with the um, Bavarian color. And I just did the wheels in the ballet slipper color. And they're both chalk paints. This is from Walmart and the other one was from Joann's. I had found it on clearance. And what I did was I took a doily piece, a crochet doily, and I laid it inside, but I didn't push it all the way down. I glued it up here on this part and on the side and I held it in place and made sure that it wouldn't sink in so that I wouldn't have to fill all of this with these um, acorns that I have here. So I kind of made like a little bed a little higher than the base of this. So again, I wouldn't have to fill them with too much of these. You know, you're not going to see them anyway. Um, and the hot glue pretty much held in place because I did it in three sides. So then I started to fill the um, the rest of it with the acorns and 
you know, everything is just hot glue and it's it's not moving. Even though this is like just hanging in there like a hammock, it's just not moving because all of this is all a lot of glue. Um, so I just put them here, there, and everywhere as I was, you know, gluing them down. And then at a certain point, I just started adding some of my leaves. And I'm using these um, Wild Orchid Craft leaves. These are the two-tone maple leaves. So they're kind of shabby chic. And then this doesn't have a name, but you can see what they are. They're just like fall-colored leaves. Um, and I did use my Prima flowers that I had left over, minus this blue one, so I have to get a project where I could use it. Because I, every time I break out these packages that are already open, I try to use the whole pack, or try to finish it. So I'm left with this one, and I hate to just throw it in. I like to keep certain flowers in their packaging, like my Prima ones, just so I know what they are. And then I did use some from my own stash. Um, when I was finished with everything, I did gesso. It toned down all my colors, like the dark peach on here and some of the browns on the acorn and the orange um, on tips of these leaves. Um, anyway, <clears throat> so I started to add my leaves, and I just layered each you know different leaf, some of the maple, some of the other one, everywhere. And... Um, I did go down on the side and one over here. So then I, after I put my leaves in, then I started to fill with the flowers and I just put all the flowers in everywhere. And again, some just coming down the side. Really pretty. And then I just put, you know, a couple here. Where's the other one? Well, just here and then some back here. And then I decided to pull out my beads. And I did an assortment of glass and plastic in pinks and cream and white. And even some little glittery one, kind of like little berries. And I just put them in different places. So that's part of the, you know, um, barrel of goodies for fall. You can see I just placed them in different places and on the side as well. And to finish off my little wheels here, I did add this bling centers. Um, they're at Natasha Scrapbook Corner. I'll post a link down below if you're interested. She is open again. And um, I believe she still has these. I haven't really shopped there in a little while because I... Um, I know I'm still shopping, but I'm trying not to. <laughs> so they're just on both sides, and the wheels do turn. So you can actually roll it around. And again, I did just so everything. I did ink the edges of my barrels. I don't know if you could see some browns um, in certain parts. Even though I just did it afterwards, I still wanted to make it a little more on the vintage side. And I just used... Um, hmm, what did I use? Here, I used tea dye distress ink. So I used that just with my little dauber thing and just, you know, made it a little bit more vintage, but then I went ahead and just gessoed everything. When I was finished making my arrangement, I actually added um, one more to top it off because I had like a hole and I just felt like it needed to be like there's just that last acorn that somebody wanted to place there. So really cute. I like it. And again, you could probably display it all year round. So this is going to go in my small little fall arrangement. So um, if I didn't already really show you, these are the acorns from the targets. I think I did show you. So thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye now.